So, your animation is finished. What's the next step? Well, next step in the industry is that you bring it to the next pipeline. So that's mostly lighting or rendering, depending on the pipeline or how you would like to work at home. So it's best to not keep working in the animation file after you're finished animation, animating. So most commonly exports are, that are used are FVX, Lambic, USD, something new that's coming up that's also included in Maya. I will show you how to do it as an Alembic. We just want to export the geometry data, right? So we don't want to export the controllers or any nodes that we don't need. We only care about the geometry itself that is, is moving. So just go to your geometry group in the rig. Go to cache, Alembic cache and export selection to Alembic. Then you go to your destination folder. For me, that's here. And you can name it however you want, but I recommend you just keep the same name as your file. So you know this export resembles this animation file. So. And here on the right, you can see all the options. So it's put on time slider. So it means it will take the entire time frames of time slider. Step is how many frames it will check. So each frame, it's on one. And here you have a lot of options. What you want to write. If you want also to save out the UV, you want to write the color sets, the face sets, if things are vi invisible or not visible. So this completely depends on your own needs, but I most of the time go something like this. And then you just press export and then you give Maya some time to bake out the export. So you can see Maya going frame by frame here, exporting the animation. While that's exporting, we can already open up our new Maya file. In this Maya file, we will put, for an example, the lighting and the rendering and how to import an Alembic file. So just so we're working in two separate files, the animation file should be in the animation department and the lighting should be or the rendering should be in a different file to be able to work cleanly so just save this wherever you need it to be saved i'll just save it here in the in this one place in the folder lighting copy and paste this You can already prepare a ground plane, but in the industry or in in bigger projects, there will already be like some ground modeled. There will already be some kind of lighting setup made. But in this case, we can just use Arnold. That's what I will be working with now since it's integrated in Maya and very strong. So you can just import a sky dome and give it some color intensity most of the time hgris are used so it's a file type and then you can just look for an hgri so here i have in my folders i have a basic hgri so you can just import it and now it's in the scene as you can see our dragon alembic export has been finished you can read it here so let's import it now.
in our lighting scene. File, import, and let's go to our destination folder. Here, import. Now here we can see our dragon fully animated, but there are no controllers. You can see it by, I'm, I'm showing everything. There are no controllers, just the animation itself. And if you want to see your character rendered, you can just open the Arnold render, render view and launch the render. Give it some time to prepare your render files, your texture of the HRI, and after a while you will see things pop up like here. And here we can see our dragon rendered in the beautiful sky. So there are a lot of settings you can do to remove some noise here in the render settings. And yeah, if you want to render out your entire animation, you go to rendering, render, and then go to render sequence. And you can select your camera if you have a camera and then you create a folder and you put your destination pod here and make sure you are in the settings with something else than one of these two. So these ones are made for single frame rendering and all these other ones you can pick from are for full frame range renders and it's just about picking whatever name convention that you like to work with I mostly work with this one but it's completely up to you and then you can render out your uh, animation completely that's it thank you for checking out this animation video about the cool dragon and I hope you learned something thanks and see you around